Uh, this is Mr. Bradley of the York Catholic District School Board. This is another photo P tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to do like an Andy Warhol style kind of art, pop art, modern art. Uh, you can see, look, when we do this, you can see that there's many different ways we can take off. We're going to do the like the Andy Warhol style one initially, and then you can do something else after. First thing I do is I'm going to go File New, and I'm going to use the Instagram size and create. And I'm going to name it right here, actually, uh, Dwight. Uh, create and then I'm going to drag in my picture or you can go open in place if that's the way you prefer to do it uh, once we get into here we're going to right click on this one and we're going to rasterize it I think I said that word right I'm not sure now we're going to come in here we're going to go quick selection tool and I'm going to select anywhere on here and you can see it's done a half decent selection we are currently on plus right now so anywhere I paint will add to the selection if I push the I can either click this or I can push the alt key down in this case I'm gonna push the alt key down and I'm gonna paint this back so that it's not in the selection and same with this and then same with the head up here and we, you can do a better job um, here and I'm gonna try to add this back into here now looks okay um, I'm not going to worry about that little blob. You, um, you can go through and do a ni much nicer job, like right in here. I'll just fine tune it for a little bit. So I'm going to add this to the selection here, and I'm just going to bring that back up here like so. Uh, Control Z. There you go. Um, zoom out. It's not bad. Again, do a better job by yourself. Uh, then what we're going to do is I'm going to go refine edge here. And when we refine edge, we can come in here now and we can make some modifications like you see right in in here the neck isn't very good you can see what's happening there so i can come in here now and i can i'm going to go use the brackets and make the paint brush a little smaller and zoom in here like this and i'm going to whoops wrong color control z white and i'm going to come in here and you can see that's bringing it back into into through here because it wasn't uh, the selection wasn't very good through here and Let's have a look at it. I want to take that out, so I'm going to paint this into here, like so, like that. And it doesn't look too bad. You can still see a little bit of it right there, so I'm going to go and just try to get rid of that. And now, you, if you look here, you can see it's kind of harsh looking, so we can come here and we can get our gray tool, and we can use the brackets and make this brush a little smaller, and then we can just kind of, a little bit bigger than that maybe, but we can just come right down through here like that, and if you look over there, if you zoom out now, it looks more natural. It's graded out, it's blurred out. If you look here, you'll see that's done like that all the way around, but whenever you come in here and modify it, uh, you have to, if you want it to look nice and you don't want it to look like chopped off, you want it to look feathered edge, that's how you do that. Okay, so now we go new layer, raster mask, and click OK. And now we have a raster mask here. Okay, so then we're going to we're going to go uh, here, and we're going to go new adjustment layer. So right here, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to have to move myself out of the way for a second so we can see this new adjustment layer, and we're going to go threshold here. And the threshold brings it up like so. And you can play with this a little bit up and down. Uh, I'm going to take it out. You don't want to wash it too far. Um, you want some detail left in it, but we want some place to paint as well. And if you click Pro, it'll hide that. Okay. So now you can. we've just adjusted it. Now we can fix any areas. Say, for argument's sake, we didn't want this here. So we click on this surface, this one here. So you're highlighting this guy. And then come over here and top and you select black and if you come in here with the black it'll wreck it <laughs> maybe i'm supposed to put it away black it is black oh, 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 oh sorry my bad paint tool paintbrush paintbrush black paintbrush sorry and you can erase some stuff, say you didn't want this, and say you didn't want some of this beard, or say you wanted to add some more areas in here to make it look cool, right? Just because we're gonna paint it, so if you wanted some more areas like that, maybe make your brush thinner or thinner. Anyways, uh, my apologies, I didn't see I didn't select that. These things happen. Okay, so now we're going to, we're gonna go up to here on this area here. We're gonna right click this here and we're gonna clipping add clipping mask. Let's see if you can see that. Right click and on the threshold layer, clipping mask. Okay, and I'm just gonna refer to my notes, make sure I'm doing everything right. Now we're gonna click the picture here. 
like this. And we're going to come in and we can start painting it. So, oh, we're going to click the picture here, sorry, and linear burn. I have to switch it to linear burn. Where is that? Linear burn. Here you go. All right. And I'm just, I made a bunch of notes here to follow through. So now under here, we're going to do the color palette. So we're going to, so I'm going to show you the next step. We're going to do a new layer and down here. So new layer here, and I'm going to drag the new layer down underneath this picture like that, like so. And then I'm going to name that color. Like that. And now I can start to paint using the paintbrush with this highlighted here. So if I come over here right now and grab the paintbrush tool, and I got the paintbrush tool. Say I wanted to do his face. I want his face to be the same color. I can turn the threshold off for a second. And when I come over to, to my paintbrush, I can select somewhere here. So if say I wanted his lip color or say for argument's sake, I wanted right there, that gives me the color to paint his face. So now I can go OK and I can turn this back on. Using that, I can come and I can now start painting his face. So I'm gonna, I can increase and decrease the size of the brush right here with the, like, like this, like going like this, painting up way too big. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna paint in the face and I'm gonna let you paint your his face in, uh, you know, on yours, and then we'll come back after we've done that. Okay, so I've painted it and I didn't do too good of a job and I probably would have went a little lighter on the color, but not a big deal for what we're doing right now. But this is how you continue painting. So again, you click on the tool paintbrush. Let's go with like a bright green. Dwight would never wear that, but let's do that anyways. And we'll can paint a shirt in some, sort of some color like this green. Again, don't think Dwight would do that. I think his shoulder came down here. You couldn't see it too well. And off to the side. And let's give him some blue glasses. You know, he'd never do that either. So bracket tool to make it nice and small. I'm just going to do oh, control Z. Uh, I could do a nicer job than that. I'm going to go back in a second, I think, and paint. I'm going to go back here and grab the previous color and come back in because I think this should be like so. And then come back, grab the blue again. And maybe bring his glasses over a bit more, bring the glasses up here a bit. And that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I'm going to change the color to, let's go with something really cool. Let's go with uh, red, red hair. Let's do some red hair. And again, don't think he would do that, um, but that's fine. And then you can fill the background in with different colors as well. So I can come into here like so and paint that in. Again, uh, you can do a much nicer job than I'm doing, hopefully. You can get the paint bucket tool now here. Paint bucket tool. Let's change the back to, I don't know, pink. And we can paint, back, paint the back pink. So that was the paint bucket tool that filled the whole thing in. All right, so now we're going to, I'm going to pause the video for a second again and let you catch up. With okay, so when you get to this point, what you're going to do now is you're going to go file, save PSD file, and I've saved it as PSD Dwight, and then you're going to go file, export, and you're going to save the JPEG, and, and we'll name this one, and name it here, and we're going to call it Dwight1. Okay. Okay, so the first JPEG is saved, and if I went into my downloads folder like so, I could see this is it. I didn't name it properly. Nope, that's not it. Uh, it's one of those guys. At any rate, file, export as, JPEG. It's going to be saving as Dwight1, 100% save. Maybe I didn't do that. There's Dwight1 there. And if I open back up, there's Dwight1. So it's saved. So now I could take, I could reopen my PSD file like I did now. And I can come back and I can just change the colors. So let's say I want to change this background now to the bright, bright green. I love that really bright green, that fluorescent looking green. And being ironic because, you know, Dwight wouldn't like it. Paint bucket tool, fill that in nice and green. Uh, let's go and change the glasses now to maybe some red so i'm on the paint bucket tool wherever i click it changes whatever is there back to some new color to the new color i selected um let's do some orange 
and let's go to the hair and change the hair to orange like so and oh, background i'm gonna leave that too i think that's pretty cool uh export as jpeg and again 100 percent. but this time here we have to save it as dwight 2 right and then go file export as jpeg 100 percent. save that one and it's saving dwight 2. now we can come in and we can change it one more time probably do it four times if we're doing the Andy Warhol style. Uh, paint bucket tool, let's change the back to blue. Um, let's change the glasses to green. I haven't, haven't been changing a shirt. Maybe I'll change his shirt. Maybe I'll do even do this. Oh, don't like that, I went too far. I think that looks kind of cool. The uh, complimentary colors there. Um, we're gonna save this one now. We're gonna call that one Dwight 3. number log or something all right save that file export as jpeg save it so now we've got dwight 3. so now what we could do is we could go file we could start fresh 